surprise, I didn't even know I was gonna do this, but I decided to hop on and try something fun today as a bonus live since I missed Tuesday. So if you're watching on replay, comment hashtag replay. Hopefully, Facebook will miraculously send out notifications today since I didn't even tell anybody I was going to do this because I didn't know if I was going to. Um, so say hello if you get here while I, while I find myself over here. My laptop is a dinosaur, y'all. It is slow today, and I... Course, I haven't been here working today, so um, I've been out and about trying to gather supplies from. Oh, y'all are here! Hey, Karen! Hey, Miss Labriska! I didn't pause, just yammering on about how I didn't plan to do this, um, and so I'm really off the cuff here, but um, I just wanted to show y'all um, something fun. I'm getting everything going over here. Hey, Jane, I was so hoping that, oh, good, Marie, because I was hoping, since I didn't announce it, that um, Facebook would send out a, um, a notification. There y'all are. Hey, Becky and Pam. That's good. So, um, sharing the denim. Ooh, I stopped by while I was out. I was on my way home. Y'all saw my post. I hit the what was that? Hit the big, good Dollar Tree and had this idea on the way home. Hey, Penny and Melanie and Trisha, y'all come on in. Spur of the moment. Friday, didn't know if anybody could be here. Hi, Charlotte. Um, so I swung by Salvation Army on the way home. I grabbed me a $4 pair of jeans and I'm going to show y'all what I do with some old Goodwill or uh, thrift store jeans. This will be my, uh, well, my third pair for me. I've got a funny story to tell y'all about it, too. Hi, Phyllis and Melody. Mary Jo's here from Kentucky. How's everybody doing? We're waiting on rain. You can see it in my eyes. I know it. They're all puffy. <laughs> but anyway, it is what it is. We can still paint when we... Are puffy. Hey, Gail and Penny. Thanks for spreading the denim. We're going to have some fun. I hope it'll be fun. I hope y'all will like this. Hey, Jasmine and Bev. Wow, I didn't expect this many to get to come on Spur of the Moment. This is so exciting. Let's go. Okay. So first of all, before I get to the jeans, I have got to show you who arrived today. I have a special guest in our live. Get ready for this. <gasps> Look, Lisa Franks Smith makes these. So I had to order one and I didn't give her any, I didn't, I just said, you know, she asked me the kind of clothing and I said, I'm just a jeans and a shirt kind of gal, nothing special. And this is what she came up with. Hey, Roxanna. Or no, I mean, so, Roxanne, sorry. Hey, Geneva. Linda. Oh, no! She makes these. I've got to look up her page, y'all. I'm going to look up her page because y'all need one of these. She even made the apron. Look, a bluebird. I'm dying. Where did she get my glasses? Look. When I got her, I realized she has earrings on and necklaces. It just kills me. Hey, Kim, is she not so adorable? So, she will be a permanent fixture in the studio now, and I am going to um, get her business page. I got so excited coming live that I, hopefully she'll show up and she'll put a, um, a link to it, or if not, I will find it for you. But look at her little shoes. I mean, stop. That's just too cute. She's got little sunflowers on her and a ribbon on her hat. Diane, Diane. That's some serious talent right there, folks. I'm telling you. Okay, so if you have got, maybe she'll hop on here. We'll see. But I've got to get y'all her business page. So if you want to order one for yourself or somebody, you can. Her name is Lisa Franks Smith, and she is a... Um, she is a sweet tater bug, and I've got her page. Um, give me, hold, 
please just one minute let's talk amongst ourselves and i'm going to see if i can find it real quick because i have been following ever since she posted in our group um that the one that had the leopard print and i just had a fit over her what was her name i forgot um so let me see so lisa's so much more s-e-w lisa's so much more y'all have got to go check out her page yeah thank you diane if you can uh put a link in there to that page that would be great i don't know how to do it while i'm on here karen i mean facebook has been glitching on all of us um crafters they were even glitching on um the southern vintage live last night because i was watching and i saw it and i know it's maddening so for this like i said all you need is i usually go and grab a pair of jeans from goodwill or salvation army any thrift store if you have an old pair of jeans or an old shirt anything any clothing you can do this i think i've done it on jeans i've done it on a denim jacket that was a custom order and i've done it on um I had a denim, a kind of a denim shirt, and it worked great. I was being really careful with them at first, where I turned them inside out to wash them and all that. I have not had a speck of um, paint come out of my paintings when I did it this way. So um, I will, I meant to have the other two pair of blue jeans in here with me, but at the end, I'll run grab those and show you what I did with those. But for this one, I'm gonna do. First of all, let me slow down. You're gonna need this. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby quite a while back because I, I did this a couple of years ago. It is called Textile Medium. I'm sure you can get it probably on Amazon, Michaels, you know, anywhere. It's from Ceram Coat. Um, this is all you're gonna need with your acrylic paints, just your regular acrylic paints. Because <clears throat> I'm just gonna use whatever I've got just regular old ceramic uh, ceramic paint no acrylic paint y'all it's when your allergies and sinuses are like this it's just a little hmm. um yeah if somebody could could do that could you pin the business oh okay i think underneath your comment it'll say pin because i can see it down here pin um and that might do it um if, if we can't do that, I will go back at the end and I will definitely put a link to her page and the description of this video. I can do that. Okay, so your textile medium. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn you upside down uh, to watch what I'm doing. Okay, let's... Uh, uh -huh. I always have to kind of remind myself how to do this. There we go. Okay. So I've got my my jeans right here, and I had kind of planned out. I'm just gonna put them, uh, put you know, paint right here. Decide what leg you want it on, and I'll tell y'all this. Um, every time I've worn my painted jeans, somebody comments on them when I'm out. It never fails, especially I painted. Uh, I'll show it to you, but it's a big dog. And that one always gets uh, comments. They think I bought the jeans that way. Um, but it is so much fun. Some of you probably already tried this before. I think they used to do it. I know they used to do it in the 60s or 70s a lot. See, this is just a, a really, really liquidy, really loose um, liquid. Um you what I do is I just squirt out the colors of paint I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna tell you this story about the very first time I did this the first pair of jeans that I um, painted on like I said was probably two years ago maybe more I don't know um, and I really liked them. I was just painting them for myself. I wasn't offering them up for 
sale. I wasn't asking for any input. I'm glad you didn't, Jody. I didn't plan this. I just hopped on, so I was really, really hoping uh, Facebook would be kind enough to send y'all a message or a notification. And you've got to go back and watch from the beginning to see um, my little Lindy doll that uh, Lisa Smith made for me. Okay, so at this point, when you're starting, gonna start to paint, I'm gonna start with my blue. All I'm gonna do is take my brush. You can you can just drop some of this into each color if you want to. I just generally do it this way. It doesn't take much, y'all. It really doesn't take much. I've learned, um, and it's it's gonna stay in there. So, um, but I painted on my first pair of jeans. Had so much fun. I put them on, I modeled them, took pictures, and I posted. It's on this page from like two years ago. You can see all of this. Now, this is going to be really loose, y'all. I, again, I didn't even uh, chalk anything out. I just held the jeans up to where I knew I wanted the design. And I wanted patriotic this time. So, I'm just going to go for it. And that's kind of what you have to do with this. I think it's way fun when it's not, you know, when it's kind of uh, rough and loose, looks old. But, so I posted the pictures of my jeans. Me wearing my jeans. I didn't, like I said, didn't offer to, you know, offer to do any more. I wasn't selling them. They were for me. And everybody loved them. They were just, oh, that is so cool, except one person. Oh, she did not like it. And she said she found it very disturbing, literally disturbing. And so I asked her, she was a, a loyal follower, uh, not, not necessarily a customer, but she was a follower from the start. So I was really shocked. And, um, so I asked her, you know, what, what was disturbing about it? And she had said, well, she grew up poor. And it was just a personal affront to her that I would ruin something that way. Well, I'm going to tell y'all right now, that did not sit well with me. Because <laughs> it was none of her business. And I was going to wear them. And I have loved those jeans. And, oh, people did not, they didn't, uh, it was just so. Anyway, Rita, you just got to add this textile medium to it, and it does not wash out. I have washed mine that I've done, like I said, I have two other pair that I've done for myself. I've also, uh, I got some orders back then and did some. I've never had any complaints, you know, about anything washing out. A bride even had me... Um, paint her denim jacket that she was wearing to her engagement party and uh, I've had no uh, it was her engagement party or yeah I think it was but anyway um so so far nobody's had an issue as long as you add a little bit of that textile medium to it but anyway I just got the biggest kick out of somebody thinking that was just a disturbing it was the wording she used and that she just kind of attacked me about it so, I started calling that line, uh, disturbing denim. <laughs> she blocked me, left and blocked me. I, I mean, that's how mad she was. A bra, what? <laughs> I didn't see the jeans you posted, but can't wait to see what you do with these. I'm going to, at the end of this, uh, I'm going to go get those jeans. I meant to have them in here. And I'm going to show them to you and see if they disturb you. Because... <laughs> You know, like everybody told her, people have been painting on denim forever. I mean, there are textile arts, too. There's, I'm not ruining these jeans. I paid $4 for these jeans. And by golly, I will wear these jeans. So, you know, I'm not, I don't, I'm not trying to offend anyone with wearing my disturbing denim. Can y'all see that? You know, I'm just doing a, a 
full, loose flag. I mean, you could make it wavy, but I just thought I'm just gonna make it kind of simple and straightforward and kind of, uh, I want it to kind of fade toward the end. I want it to look like a kind of a worn flag. Kind of worn on the edges here. And yeah, everybody did. I remember my cousins uh, were a good bit older than me. When I was little, they embroidered a shirt, a denim shirt for me. We, everybody had them. It was the end thing to have. So I just was so shocked that I had absolutely, totally offended someone with my jeans, but I did. And that's all right. Move along, move along. <laughs> But again, that was two years ago, and hopefully, I'm not going to disturb anybody here today with these. <laughs> I still think that's hilarious, but anyway. Oh, hey, Melanie, I didn't, I didn't know you were even, I know, LaBrisca, <laughs> everybody go disturb your jeans. It's way fun. <laughs> So, I, that just made me want to do more, which I did. So, um, I was just painting up everything I could get my hands on for a while. And so, the other day I was thinking, oh, wow, with Memorial Day coming up and 4th of July, it would be so fun to have a flag on some jeans. And then I thought, well, shoot, that would be a fun thing to do live, too. So, um like I said, I was out and about today, so I just stopped on the way home and found these at Salvation Army. And hopefully they'll fit. Because, <laughs> you know, you can't try them on. But I, I did, that's why I was a little later. I um, threw them in the washer and dryer. I wanted to, you know, wash them first. And when you finish this, when you finish them, you'll pop them in the dryer uh, to really set it in. And like I said, I have had no, I haven't even had any fading. I totally expected fading, but I didn't have any. So this is just fun. And I, it feels like I've not even opened this bottle. It's still a full bottle. And that was two years ago. And like I said, I've painted quite a few things. Elizabeth, you're so sweet. Y'all, I was at the Dollar Tree today out in Germantown. You saw my post, and I was just about through. I was kind of on the last aisle or two, and I look up, turn around, look up, and there's my friend Elizabeth. We went to school together from, Lord, second, first, second grade on, and um, of all things, so she didn't, you know, I didn't say a word, and she just kind of glanced up at me and said, you're fine, you're like, you can go on by, and I just stood there and looked at her till she realized it was me. <laughs> We had our masks on and everything, of course, so <laughs> that was fun. So we got to, to talk and catch up for a while. I had just gone out there spur of the moment. I got up this morning and thought, you know what? We've got this uh, Simple Treasures Crafter Circle event coming up next week. I better get my ducks in a row and get everything I need for what I'm going to do that day. So... Um, the Dollar Tree out there is right next to Hobby Lobby. Kill two birds with one stone. And that's what I did till I played out. I actually was going to try to hit Michael's too, but I just played out today. So I hit Salvation Army and came on home and washed them. And best part of my day too, besides this, of course. Oh, Lori, yeah, you've got to go back and uh, catch it from the start. We're disturbing some denim. We are disturbing some denim. That was my dog running into the bird feeder. Am I doing too many stripes? I'm just, I'm just painting along. This is so fun. Like I said, I, you know, I may end up. If I had, if I could have found um, two pair, they were their jeans at Salvation Army uh, were sorely lacking. They didn't have a whole bunch, so I guess I'm gonna have to hit Goodwill or something um, because I may want to. I really am thinking about doing one that's really rough and really um, abstract, you know, flag wise. Because you can wear these year round.
Okay. Now let's get us some white. Grab the white. I've already got that over here. Now where did I put that? There it is. Yeah, do that, Lori. Do that. Oh, thanks, Kim. I mean, you see how it's, so, you know, so easy. It's so easy to just do a, a plain flag. And what I might do at the end, well, let's just, let's just keep going. I'll see. I'm going to play it by ear. Hey, Pat. Um, yeah, this one you need to catch from the start because uh, there's, uh, I explained a lot and uh, explained why they're disturbing too. And I showed you my new Lindy doll. You've got to see it. Um, <laughs> Jody, good. I'm glad that didn't, I'm glad it's not disturbing y'all away like it did her because boy, she took off on me and blocked me. I mean, you, you, Elizabeth, you can do that. I mean, come on, you can make a purse out of it. Um, oh, Gail, thanks for hanging in. I know I was trying to watch Southern Vintage Live last night, y'all, and it was doing it, and I totally understand. It's hard on y'all's end to have to, you know, watch. Now, see, I'm not being careful because I want this to look kind of grungy, you know? I don't want it to look perfect. I have never had that happen, Jane. Now, you watch... It'll do it this time because I said I hadn't. I used the very first one or two I did. I was so careful to put like craft paper underneath there or even cardboard. And you can, but it never ever bled through at all. But um, there, you know, you can do, do grab a t shirt, grab, you know, whatever you've got on hand, um, or you just run to the thrift store and pick up something. And um, go to town. If it's something that you don't care about anyway, I mean, if you, you know, you won't stress over it, and I guarantee you, you're going to love it. And how fast. And you've got a brand new piece of clothing that's so fun. But I like, I like it on old, you know, worn denim the the very first pair i did i even cut the um cuffs off at the bottom and frayed those a little bit and took a razor and um you know kind of made some slashes in it and just really made them fun and i have worn them i love them i've worn them a lot denim feathers i want to see those uh lori post those in our group um, Gail, it's plain old acrylics, but you've got to mix in textile medium, which you can get at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, probably Amazon. I just picked it up a couple of years ago at Hobby Lobby, and I believe it's right over there by the acrylic paints with, you know, cross from them where you get the, the different kinds of mediums. If it's not there, it will be in with the, uh, art department, you know, um, different mediums. Now, I'm going to take a little thinner uh, white acrylic. And we're going to... This is... I used a thicker white acrylic just for those. Come on. I'm at the, I'm at the end of this one, I think. Because I want to try something for the stars instead of... Um, of course, you could just do each little star, but I think I want to try something here. We're going to get really disturbing. Is Teresa, is it hard to find right now? Oh, I didn't know that. I, I don't like it when uh, I, you know, I try not to show crafts um, or things that it's, it's hard for y'all to find right now. I just, it, I know how frustrating that can be. I bet they're fun to make, Lori. All right, now let's see. We're gonna try. Let me grab this. <laughs> Look how fun that is! Oops. Y'all, oh my gosh. 
Are you kidding me? I love it. <laughs> Y'all, look at that. Oh my goodness, this makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, Teresa, did you look online? Is it not online either? Thanks, Lola. We are having a blast. Okay. I'm digging that, y'all. I got to try one more thing. I can't. I'm just playing. Oh, and my water is the prettiest color of purple now. With that red, white, and blue. Mm. Oh, thanks for the heart, y'all. Hey, artist. Would you just look at what I am up to today? I am just going for it. Come on now. Come on. You gotta love that. Who doesn't love that? That's too fun. That is too fun. Okay, now I think I'm gonna, let's see. Um, Where's that fun little brush I have? Give me a second. Let me find my little brush because I didn't know. Oh, uh oh. Sorry, y'all. I'm uh, winging it, you know, how I do. Let me find that fun little brush I used to use all the time. Come here. Ugh. Gotta pull up my whole. I uh, have all. I've, well, I've got brushes that I use regularly in jars and mugs. Um. Oh, do they, Cheryl? Oh, good, 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 good. So I don't, I didn't want to do something where y'all couldn't get a hold of what you needed to, to uh, have to do this. Well, I'll be daggummed if I don't see it. We'll have to go a different route. Oh, there it is. Uh oh. Let's try this. I just want to do this little stiff round brush with the little white paint and just kind of. Dab that on here and there. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. You're so sweet. That's I appreciate the stars. Y'all are very sweet. Now let's just I want you know what? I want more of the white splatters. Just can't help myself. I hope I don't have them all over me. I may. I didn't even put on an apron. I didn't know I was going to do that. <laughs> I'll never know what I'm going to do. Yeah. So what do y'all think? I... I'm excited about these. So what I'll do is I will, um, when we're off of here, after we get off of here, well, what I might do, actually, I might let this just sit overnight. And then tomorrow, first thing, pop these in the dryer and just set it. You know, put them on like for eh, 20 minutes or so. And just heat set that paint right in there. And unless, you know, I, if y'all have it wash out, let me know. I have never had that happen. So let me, okay, let's go look like this and like this. Okay. Look. So, okay, let me stand up. Let's see if I can do this. Move my chair. So look, y'all, I left enough space. If you want to, if you're a, a tuck-in kind of girl, thank you, artist. If you're a tuck-in kind of girl and a belt, you can bring it on up to here. If you want to do it on the back, that's where I used to, um, I used to write paint on the back pocket, one of the back pockets, disturbing denim. I just wanted somebody to ask me what is disturbing denim so I could tell that story. But anyway, I usually stay untucked 
I'm short and I'm high waisted, you know, up up here. So I don't usually tuck. So I like to start my painting down here and go down. So what do you think? Isn't that fun? Okay, if you bear with me just a minute, let me go get you my others that I've painted. I wish I had brought them in here. I hate to leave the studio, but I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourself. Okay, this is the first pair that I got and did a couple of years ago. I love these things. <laughs> They're so much fun. I know, I can't believe it. The reason I have shoes on today is because I've been out in the world. And I even painted the, um, on the back pockets these little flowers. That was before she called them disturbing, but these are the original that she was terribly disturbed over. So I love them and I'm the only one having to wear them. So, you know, that's that. So I, I enjoyed those so much. These are the ones that always get, no, no, I forgot I did this pair. Y'all, this was the first pair I did. I'm so silly. Now I gotta go get my other ones. But I still, I love, I forgot her. See how I, I just kind of ripped the knee and everything? And um, at the, um, the hem. But I just signed them on the back pocket. I put my name on the back pocket. Y'all, I am so sorry. Hey, Amanda. Yeah, yeah, I was painting jeans. These are the ones we did today. We did a, an American flag. I swung by Salvation Army and grabbed them on the way home and did this on the fly. Let me grab my other pair because they're, oh, y'all. Has anybody ever left their live video that long? I'm gonna have to just post a picture of them. I can't put my hands on them and I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> just leave y'all. Um, I, Randy, I mean, so she was so disturbed that I did this for myself, just for myself, um, that she blocked me even. She left and blocked me. That was that, she could not deal. But the other ones, y'all, I painted, it's a huge abstract dog down one whole leg. You got to see them. Those are my fun ones that I always get comments on. Um, so, yeah, the flowers, uh, I've always loved those flowers. They're so much fun to do. So, if y'all do this, I want to see your disturbing denim. And I hope you'll call them disturbing denim because that just makes me even more happy. Is that make me a terrible person? Maybe a little bit. I shouldn't do that. But And y'all, if you missed the beginning, you have got to go check out Lisa's So. Oh, Diane, are you still here? Help me out again. I meant to have that right at the tips of my fingers. But I'm going to put her um, link in. Let me fix this. Put her link. I'm sorry. It's playtime. That's sassy. Her link in the um, description. You haven't even gotten home from Dollar Tree from buying stuff, huh? <laughs> um, like out of a sponge. Leanne, I don't see why not. If you used um, the acrylics, excuse me, and the textile medium, I would think that... Uh, um, it, it would work just fine. Hey, Marie. Lisa's so much more. Thank you, Karen. Yes, that's it. Yeah, every little detail. 
there's a bluebird. Where did she find my glasses? I didn't tell her anything. All I told her was, I'm a jeans and a t-shirt kind of girl. And look, she's got earrings on. It's every little detail. She just blew me away. I, I have no clue how she did this apron. Look at that. It looks just like y'all sweet tater bug um, shirts and our apron. So yeah, I can't uh, I can't say enough about her. This just killed me, and it just got here today, so I got to show y'all. I can wait, but y'all have to look her up. What a great gift that would make, right? Somebody gets a you know their own person doll. <laughs> Uh, oh, I bet you could do it. I bet you could do it. Oh, Marie, you're so sweet. Thank you. Y'all are so sweet and so generous. I never expected this many of you could be here on a Friday afternoon when I just, I, I didn't even, I, I just did this so on the fly and I had so much fun doing it. Um, so I was just, I'm just thrilled y'all could be here and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's something. Oh, Marie, thank you. <laughs> I just saw your message. That's so sweet. Isn't it, Rita? Um, yeah, check her out, Kim. Y'all do check her out. She is one of our sweet tater bugs. So I'm sure you've seen her post in our group. Um, and so I, I just didn't know she did that. When she posted that first one, I was so blown away. I went right over there and said, I've got to have one of these. That is so incredible. And wham, here it is. I mean, come on. I know, Elizabeth. I wish I could see you again, too. I'm just so glad I ran into you today. That was awesome. Um, so, I, while I was out, I um, so we did that. I think I got on after 4, and it's only 4.45. How about that? Um, I thank you, Tricia, and that means the world to me. I love hanging out with y'all so much. Um, and this was a bonus, this, uh, you know, I decided since I didn't get to go live Tuesday, if there was any, any way possible I could do it today, I was going to do it. So here we are. And, um, I've had a great time and y'all just made this so much fun. It was so fast. We got a brand new pair of jeans in less than an hour. Y'all hit those thrift stores or go shop your closet and let me see what you come up with and go enjoy your Friday night. I'll see you Sunday at, it's going to be two or four. I'll post about it, okay? Y'all enjoy your weekend. Love you all immensely. Bye.